I'm trying to make a higher level of product for the real world. Mm -hmm. Because people say life isn't fair. And unless you Kanye West, or you, you know, this, this pretty girl that dates this soccer player, or your parents had money, you don't get to wear Versace all the time. And you hear it, we love Versace. Versace, 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 Versace. We love Versace. Versace is the greatest designer of all time. We love Versace. But unless you was to the point where you rap so good and knock down so many doors and produce so much shit that you was able to actually get Dame Dash to give you a record deal because you was a producer. Not because he liked your raps, but because you was a producer. Just because Dame knew what was up and he was downtown with the models and the artists and all that shit. Yo, look at this, this kid got some talent. Do not affording Versace. The creators, they want to connect with people. These artists, the clothing designers, they want to connect with people the same way that music gets to connect with people. But the fab, the cost of silk is too expensive and they won't lower their quality level. So I can spend two million on a record and give it out at a democratic, in a democratic way. They could spend all their time making the greatest dress in the world and it's just impossible to hand make that many. Let me explain to you what a fashion office is like, right? Sometimes if you're working on an album, once it gets down to the last moments, there's two or three people in the studio, an engineer, a manager, the artist, a label guy, saying the masters are due tomorrow. Okay, they're due a day after tomorrow, but let's get them in. It, it narrows down to that. At a fashion office, you've had people who have dedicated their entire life to this, that are working 12 people, 15, 20 people, interns coming in working to 4 a.m. that night, slaving to be able to put that thing on the runway, pinning things right before they go out. All 20 collections every day for Fashion Month. That is the level of dedication, heart, and soul that goes into that. But what happens is, for real people, the democratic public, the people who have a normal amount of money that work every day, that like nice things, We'll just make these same cuts, blah, 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 and provide this at a democratic cost. The only thing about it that's different than Nike and Apple is there's never a time when someone can walk in with some non-Nikes and you feel less than yourself. Right. You still feel like the greatest version of you right. when you have those Nikes on, right? But you can have on a Zara pant, right? right? And a girl walks in with the Celine version and you feel like shit. Right. That is the problem. That is the problem. I mean, obviously not my problem because I look like I. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I dress the same way I did when I was like twelve. But I'm talking so about. Right? I'm talking about us, the new slaves, the people who love fashion. I'm talking about us, you know, because I'm a slave to it. Mm. I love oh, it, dude. I can tell. Like, I love it. Yeah. I love it since age five. My mama brought me to a discount first spot, and she and I'm. And, and when she asked me what I like, everything I like was too expensive for us. Mm. That's five years old. 